What's up? This is Nate Bargetzi, stand-up comedian, maybe actor one day, who knows, but Nate Bargetzi, and you listen to Ego's Last Stand. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. And we're back for another episode of the Egos Last Stand. I'm Josh Arm, your host as always, and I'm always joined with my partner in crime, Brandy Nicole. Brandy, how you doing, hon? Ah, Puffy can't even hold me down today. I'm so excited. Puffy can't hold you Couldn't down? Couldn't do it. No, absolutely not. And we're, we're told now your new name is Jiggly. Is you that, can is that... call me Jiggly. <laughs> well, today is an amazing, amazing show. Uh, it's actually going to be our first time ever two-parter, which is fantastic. We're totally excited about that because we have our old friend on the show, Greg Morton. Greg, welcome, man. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, can I uh, just turn my cans down a little bit you there? Can turn Listen it up to that yourself. wonderful voice. Right, how's that? There we go. Is that better? Yeah. Turn That's mine beautiful. up. Thank turn you. <laughs> <laughs> turn it on. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm known for is my voice. It's beautiful. Um, Absolutely. Good, uh, ni good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just want to just tuck in right now? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a <laughs> Billy D. Williams thing. <laughs> it's, it's everything. I love it. That's fantastic. And, uh, Greg, of course, uh, known for many things, uh, his, his voiceover work. Uh, it, it, of course, he's a fantastic, hilarious comedian. Uh, and just recently a finalist on uh, AGT, right? Yeah. America's yeah. Hey. What an experience, guys. You wouldn't believe it. It was but, so fantastic. I, I, tell you, I, I know uh, Brandy and I really want to hear about it, but I know yeah. our fans would love to hear about your experience on there. What'd you go through? Hell. He said, hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing. It was an, it was an incredible experience. And... Um, I can't it was a real roller coaster. I you know have, what I mean? I bet, I bet. Yeah, yeah. But I you know, I, I felt like I, I here's what happened to me. Uh, years ago I was so worried about the future. And you know how we get wrapped up in that. Sure. What's Absolutely. my next project gonna be? Mm -hmm. When am I gonna get on TV? When What's am I gonna the next get thing? this? Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go, Greg, what are you doing? You're driving yourself crazy. Just live in the moment. Enjoy where you are. Put your head down, keep working. Trust that somebody will notice, <laughs> right? And then you'll you'll lift your head up and you'll be there, and that is exactly what happened. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you you really hit the stage hard. Uh, you know, over ten years, it was, it was the the Obama man thing you did that really went viral. Yeah, oh, no, that was the one that really. I thought that was really going to propel me. That I mean, four point what million and, and views. I mean, well, here's what happened. Okay, <laughs> now this is a wild story. At the time, Obama had just gotten in. A friend of mine, we're talking, and he was saying, you know, this Obama, it's crazy. He can do anything. Uh, yeah. He, and uh, he's like Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> I go like, oh, my gosh. That is a, that's a song. Yeah. That's a song parody. So I started, he started looking up Candyman. By the time we reached the hotel, I had already had the first or second verse already That's written. You were awesome. just on fire. Yeah. So I go upstairs into my room and I'm writing, I'm writing, and he says, I found something and we, you know, I downloaded the track, uh, our karaoke track. Then I went to the car to practice it <laughs> because I didn't want to wake up, uh, wake up everybody sure. in a hotel singing, right? Right. And this was like three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting in my car, I'm singing to myself. <laughs> Somebody walks by and they're looking, that guy's a weirdo. <laughs> I'm singing, Obama man can, you know. <laughs> Now, I had to have this ready for Bob and Tom. Right. I had nothing ready for Bob and Tom. I go like, what am I going to do? And yeah. just out of this conversation, I came up with yeah. this Obama man for um, Bob and Tom. That's so So awesome. I debuted it on there. They put it on their YouTube. Mm -hmm. It blew up. It went viral. Huge. It started going a million views a day. I mean, a, yeah. a week. I sh I'm sorry. A day and then a week. Yeah. And it was going up one million, two million, three. I think it's up to four now. It's like four, four point million. something. Yeah. Four yeah. point something million. Yeah. So, anyway, fast forward, right? I'm going like this has got to lead somewhere. Yeah. You know, it's got to do something. Well, this guy who um, runs Hyeno Records, he he came up to me and he says, you know, he he does a lot of comedy mm -hmm. records, you know, uh, a lot of the truck stop records. Yeah. You yeah. know, tapes, CDs, mm -hmm. things that you used to get with all the comedy greats on it, um, especially, uh, oh, who's that guy? Uh, you might be a redneck win, help me out. Jeff Foxworthy? Uh, Jeff Foxworthy, yeah. sorry, just jumped out of my head. I was thinking Cat Stevens. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know where he's going. <laughs> Very fast. Very. Thank, thank you, Jiggles. So anyway, um, so 
I get, uh, he says, hey, you know what? I think we got a hit, a hit record on our hands. You I go, hey, you damn right we got a hit record on our hands. I, I, I've been saying that for years. And this is when Obama was coming up for re-election. I oh, go, wow. this is just in time. Perfect time. Yeah. We get this out. It's a hit record. I will actually have a hit record. And you don't know what a what a, a dream that is for me. It's sure. a big deal. Because I was a mobile disc jockey back in the day. Ah. So to have a hit record, oh, Forget it's about over. it. So anyway, I go into the recording studio, do it in one take. I, so give me one more for safety. We're all set to go. I said, now what are we going to do about the rights? He says, well, don't worry about it. Uh, Everybody yeah. loves money, right? <laughs> I'll just offer the money. That's going to be fine. And I'm sure he's got lots of money, believe me. Sure. So I'm not worried about it. He goes and he finds out, well, apparently the writers mm -hmm. of the song, you know, it's from Willy Wonka and the mm -hmm. Chocolate Factory. They sold it to Mars Candy. Oh, wow. Sure. Makes sense. But they had not done anything with it sure. right, at yeah. the time. So we were thinking, oh, well. well they don't need it. Well, they uh, took one look at it and went, mm, no. no. <laughs> and that was the end of that. It, dreams dashed against the rocks. Ugh. And they didn't use that song until about three, two, three years later. Yeah. When it was, it was crappy. their 50th it was anniversary. Too. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, when they had the crappy. commercial come out? It yes. was terrible. It was horrible. <laughs> it was terrible. You should be ashamed. I could have had a hit record and these guys, and it was just a parody, but I obviously I understand that. They don't want that associated yeah. with any politics. Isn't there a, like that. a... Some sort of like loophole about making a parody of something? Isn't that a thing? Um, what it is is you... You you can't something about uh, tarnishing or or impairing their the likeness of whatever they have. Sure, yeah, I'm there's sure some there's type of regulations. Thing. Yeah, you can record your own music though. That's you can, right. you can. That's yes. right. That's true. But you know, uh, we were going to get Mars as a sponsor, but forget it now. You guys, are, no, we don't even it. want you. We don't want you now. It's just garbage. Mm. Put this camera anyway. away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. But you know, there, I've had a lot of fleeting moments like that. You know, in my career, where almost. Yeah. Yeah. I've had I had a, I had two auditions for In Living Color. <gasps> oh wow. Yeah. One was in New York City. Was Got, it the band or the show? Got to meet Keenan Ivory Wayans. Oh, wow. Fantastic. So cool. Yeah. What a brilliant guy, too. But I wasn't ready. I was way too young for that, you know? Yeah. Sure. And then the other one was, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, I got to, the Wayans were leaving. Chris Rock was going to be the host mm -hmm. of the show. Yeah. And I came in, and I went, I made it through the first round, but I didn't make it through the second round, and then mm -hmm. the show got canceled. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, twas not to be. It happens. Yeah. You know, but it, then you, you get on America's Got Talent, and what what mm -hmm. made it, I mean, amazing for all of us that know you is like we're watching this guy who we've worked with for years yeah. on the big stage in front of the country. Yeah, already we're already fans. And, and, and what was awesome <laughs> is you know this club, you know the comedy off Broadway. We're all high fiving each other because you know your family here. We got you know, it. Your your family here. So I've I mean, always felt that way. It's and, and being it's, family it's, here. We, you know. I mean, every day, every day we come. In, have you seen Greg? Did you see a spot? You know, and, and we talked about it every time. Like uh, every it, like it was it was amazing. I mean, wow. I, I can't imagine. I mean, I, I don't even know how it was for you, but for us, it was magic for us because we were like we were living it through you. I it, mean, was, it was just well for me. At the time, it was magic. It, yeah, it yeah. is. But when it when the show aired, it was terrible. <laughs> Why? I okay. So on the show, you, you can't. Um, what is it? You can't reveal what you're doing sure. until it comes on, and yeah. they they give you the day before, and then they go like, okay, now you can tell all your friends. Right. Well, I had to make some money while I was on the show. You know, they don't. You know, they don't pay. So right, right. And so I was on a cruise ship, and I was on an Alaskan cruise. So I'm in Juneau, Alaska. <laughs> I have no internet. Oh I'm God. standing in front of a coffee shop trying to get Wi-Fi. <laughs> I can't even watch my own show, my own Brilliant. clip on the show. <laughs> Polar bears going by. We move. <laughs> Hold your claw. Do something to help me. <laughs> and I was on the debut show, and I couldn't even watch it. Oh, oh. man, that's heartbreaking. Killed me, man. Just killed me. We we watched it. We watched it. We loved it. I mean, yeah. it was just, a, I mean, mythical. It was, it was surreal to us. Yeah. It's a big deal. Well, I mean. It was quite a moment, I'll tell you that. I mean, it felt like I had been working so hard, and then finally. Here it is. It right. all paid off. Here it is, where I lift up my head, yep. and I'm there. Yep. And it, Unbelievable. Yeah.
couldn't have happened to a better person. Oh, me, thanks, so guys. Awesome. I really appreciate nah, it. Yeah. We all love you here, man. It's, it's oh, been, my goodness. Would you would you do us the honor of running through the, the Star Wars Blitz? Would sure. You, yeah. Would you do it? There right, we go. All right. Join me, Luke. Join me on the dark side. I'll never join you! Ah! Oh no, Master Luke! Master Luke! Red leader to gold leader standing by. Gold leader, red leader standing by! Look out, Porkin! It's a trap. Udi Waka Luko Solo. Udu Jabba Waka. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, young Skywalker. Join me and your father in the dark side of the force. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Do or do not. There is no try. Yeah. That is so awesome. <laughs> Look at Brandy. Brandy was like a kid. She's freaking. <laughs> she, she was like a kid, kid in the candy store. Every time I, I, I see a comedian or somebody do a, a really good impression or something cool, I always think, I wonder how much of that is the microphone and just that. That was real, you guys. That was right here for it. That was real. And you're a huge Star Wars fan, aren't oh, you, Brandy? Look, yeah, I am covered in Star Wars tattoos. Oh my God! Oh, the stormtrooper. Yeah, I've got. Uh, that looks really some, good. Some Let me see what you got there. on there. That looks good. I've got the Mandalorian symbol. I've got. Wow. I've got little Mandalorian earrings under there. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah I'm a huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> if you get it put on your body, you know, Absolutely. I qualify. Because you that can't qualifies. rub that off, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, and I tell you, uh, watching the judges' reaction on HGTT doing that. They were, I mean, they were blown they away. They were blown away. They were blown away. I mean, it, you know, and Howie Mandel's been in the industry forever. He owns uh, JFL, and I mean, yeah. it, like, the guy's fully immersed in stand-up <clears> comedy, <throat> and, you know, the look on his face, he was just like, wow. Well, funny thing about that, um, that was just um, an accident. Really? Just, really. I uh, never done it before. I'm up on stage, and I'm cleaning up my stuff, and the... Uh, the bartender was a real huge Star Wars fan. He would always play music at mm -hmm. the end of the show yeah. to clean up. And, you know, so he puts on the Star Wars theme. And I start goofing off on the mic. And, you know, and I'm making all these different voices. He's going like, what are you doing, man? You need to put that in your show. And I never thought about it. Yeah. So I at first thought, it was yeah. just, it was just like a bit in my uh, show, just a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it, it expanded, and somebody said, "You know what? You should do that at the beginning of your show." It was uh, Uncle Dirty. Yeah. Uncle Dirty used to be good friends with uh, George Carlin. He hung out with Richard Pryor, all the greats, and that. So he was around back in the day when all those guys were coming up, and he knew comedy. Dirty knows comedy. I got to tell you, and he was a real mentor to me. And he said, "Kid, you got to do that at the beginning of your show." <laughs> You don't close with it, open with it, because yeah. it's going to make your job easier. Yeah. yeah. They'll trust you, because I always say this, when you're doing comedy, it's like taking a ride with a stranger. Right. Sure. You know, you, you want to get to know them first before you jump in the car. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't know them, you ain't getting in the damn car. That's <laughs> right. all they do it. I don't care if it that says Uber crazy. on it. You yeah. know, it, right. you ain't getting in there, you know? Yeah. So that's what makes it easier. And so that, that was the evolution of that. Uh, it's fantastic. I would have thought that took so much preparation and... and, and, and Just goofing around. It is I, brilliant. It's so good. And so many things came to me like that. I didn't know that I could do it, but I have a really good ear. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got into uh, directing cartoons, because I had a good ear. Now, yeah. when I first started, uh, my uh, background was classical animation. I thought I was going to be a, a, an animator, a cartoonist. Right, yeah. Or a cartoonist, if I didn't make it as an animator. And uh, I was drawing all the time. I was always drawing when I was a little kid, you know. I'd just mm -hmm. give me a pencil and some paper, and I'd be drawing. And and um, so the uh, the first job I got. Oh, and I would do voices for my student student fellow student films. Yeah. Now the first job I got was working on the Scooby and Scrappy Doo show as an animator for Hanna Barbera. Wow. I know, right? 
And then we got another job came in working on the Flintstones. They tried to bring the Flintstones back into primetime as a primetime show. Sure. And I go like, oh my gosh, my two favorite shows. And I'm working on them. That's I couldn't so believe cool. it. Wow. Then later on, and I had no idea what the significance of this mm. would be. We were, well, we're working on this. It's a new movie. Well, I, I, I knew it was going to be huge because I used to collect the magazines. Right. Heavy metal. Yeah. Do you ever collect those mm -hmm. or see those heavy metal yep. magazines? Great drawings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mobius. Oh, yeah. Huge fan of the, those artists. And uh, so I got a, a scene I got to work on from the heavy metal movie, and it was just uh, what a great. But as I'm sitting there, I'm going to myself, this can't be what I'm meant to do. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Well, because I'm sitting at the at the desk all day, Brandy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a little more extroverted than that, you know? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> so I started, plan I started planning my escape, you know? And I'm drawing, and I'm drawing, and I'm going like, you know, I got this business now, because at the time I was supplementing my income with my mobile disc jockey business. Gotcha. Right. And so I thought, I'm gonna draw up a logo, and I'm really gonna go for it. I'm gonna make this a brand. Yeah. So I drew my own logo, and I got, came up with this name, Greg Morton, that crazy DJ. Like from the, those wild and crazy guys, you know, <laughs> from SNL, right? Yeah. And uh, I had, I got a van, I got it all painted up, and yes. I did skits and comedy, and I then I combined there. that with, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because people are really shy at dances. They don't, oh, I don't know if I could go out on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I would, you know, make it, make it fun for people, I right? Have it. little skits, put on costumes, dress up as Dolly Parton, and, uh, <laughs> you know, the Ghostbusters and the bird dance and stuff. So it was a riot at that time. And yeah. I thought that was what I was going to do. But, uh, but when I saw comedy, I knew that's what I really wanted to do. Sure. Which so I'm glad you did. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So a as a sideline, as I'm doing comedy, I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to do? i got to do something here. I want to, why don't I give uh, voiceovers a shot? So I said to my agent, mm -hmm. uh, can you get me a couple of voiceover auditions? Yeah. I I've never done that before. I've done it for, for at, at college, but I've never, sure. you know. He says, okay, I'll send you out on, a, on an audition. <laughs> I got a part on the first audition. I would assume so. It was for uh, a show called Hello Kitty. Ah. Yeah. Like yeah. the Hello Kitty? The yeah. Hello Kitty. I know I wow. wasn't Kitty, obviously. But, you, know. you could have been. <laughs> you sure could. Hey, Brandy could be Jiggly. You could be Hello Kitty. Come on. <laughs> you sure could. I would have bought it. <laughs> So I, I, I was this guy, he was named Grinder. He, yeah. he was a dog. <laughs> and um, the vocal thing was, uh, reference, was an actor, uh, Fred Gwynn. You remember Fred Oh, Gwynn? yeah, yeah. Car Monster. 54, the Monsters, yeah. Herman yeah. Munster. Yeah. You know, in Car 54, he would go, oh, 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 when he got excited. Yeah. yeah. So I added that into my impression. Oh, 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 oh. And that's what he would do. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It was so much fun because it was so cartoony yeah. and char sure. characterish. That was my first role. That is so cool. Isn't it? Yeah. And then I ended up getting other side roles and different characters yeah. in the show. And then at the end of the season, the director came up to me and he says, how would you like to direct? I'm going, what? <laughs> 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 what actor doesn't want to direct, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah. So I got to direct shows. And the first show I directed was Cops. And it was fighting crime in a future time. It was a futuristic. Oh, that sort cartoon. Of crime. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I yeah, remember not that. the show where yeah. you, you know guys go to bad boys, bad boys. You know what you're going to do? Yeah, not that one. And um, then it it's, it 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 really exploded from there. And I did uh, Super Mario Brothers. Um, uh, all of the video game shows like Captain N, the Game Master, The yeah. Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah. wow. Um, really cool stuff that I was a huge fan of. Sure. I couldn't believe it at this yeah. time. I could I would freak it out, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was doing voices for Garbage Pail Kids. Then I got to direct and do some voices for Hammer Man, a cartoon <laughs> based on MC Hammer. I mean, it was nuts. Wow. And I was going, the money was incredible. Oh. It wasn't to direct, but acting, I got a lot. Nice. I, I was a, a Marvell Jones character. They, that was the name of the character uh, from Police Academy. So I got to be Michael Winslow's character. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just did the show in with the Michael. Police Academy. Did you really? Yeah. I, I featured for him down in Florida. Is that ever wild? Yeah. What a show, huh? It's definitely a show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's amazing. Yeah. 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 
So, uh, man, I, I couldn't believe it. But at that time, but I, 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 the whole time, I'm going like, I, I like stand up. And, you know, comedy is a jealous lover. It is. It, it really <laughs> it is, is, right? You get, you gotta, It really is. And if you want to get good at it, you got to stay in it. And I go like, this is what I got to do. I'm just going to go all in. Yeah. And, you know, while I was in it, I was missing the voiceovers, but I go like, sure. if I'm going to get better at this, I got to keep doing it. Yeah. There's really no shortcuts, is there? No. No. So, 35 years later. God bless you. 35 <laughs> years. Um, Isn't that nuts? It, dude. It, and I, the, I never thought that would happen. No, that, I mean, that shows a lot of longevity right yeah. there and a lot of, lot but, of gut. <laughs> but most people, I remember when I was coming up at the time, they were going like, uh, so, you know, you're going to keep doing that little thing at the end where, you know, when you dress up and your little characters and stuff when you're like, you know, 50 years old. Here I am. I'm 61 years old. I'm still doing it. I haven't taken it out of my act because it's the strongest thing in my show. It's great. Still it's today, fan, it's my fantastic. closer. No, yeah. it's fantastic. And every time I try to change it, it, it backfires on me. It, I can it, it doesn't work out. Yeah. I can add, sometimes I can add little things. Yeah. But most of the time, I just got to leave it. Just set it and forget it. It's a greatest right. hate that no. people want to see, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, that's something you always have to do. Uh, we're sitting here talking with uh, Greg Moore. We got to take a commercial break, so we'll be right back after these messages. Our first rate comedy was second to none. The comics are waiting, so join in the fun. Two decades of moral decay. Comedy on Broadway. What's up, Kentucky? This is Rex Chapman. I've struggled with addiction in the past. Today, I'm often asked where someone can turn for help. Bridgeway Institute Kentucky offers NAD plus IV therapy to end addiction without horrible withdrawals. I've used NAD plus. NAD plus is a revolutionary treatment that helps heal the brain destroying disease of addiction. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, visit Bridgeway Institute at bridgewaywellnessgroup.com. You might just be the one to save a life. That's bridgewaywellnessgroup.com. And we're back. <laughs> Try to catch me, block guard. <laughs> we're sitting here talking with Brandon Nicole and Greg Morton, and yeah. uh, we were just talking about uh, some of your experiences doing uh, from voiceover very to cool stand up. Stuff. Very, yeah. very cool stuff. You you mentioned that you you worked on the heavy metal movie. Yeah, like the Hanover. You know that yeah. that whole like what what sections were you working on? I, I can't even remember. I, I mean, that's how long ago it was. And the scene was so tiny. It was just a, just a small scene in the movie. But, I mean, just what a great project to be a part of. Right? Music, right? visually, everything about that is just oh, amazing. I still love that movie. Yeah, me too. It's so good. And, and John Candy was part of that movie. Yes, Bruce he was. was yeah. part of that movie. Oh, it was great. It was great. Yeah. I miss it. I miss it. Yeah. Um, I picked up uh, some cool stuff today. Are Did you guys you? fans of the old Hammer films? Hammer films. Hammer, um, the Hammer, Dracula, the horror of Dracula, the oh, curse yeah, yeah, yeah. of Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah, they're all the ones with. Um, uh, gosh, help me out, uh, Peter Cushing. Yeah. Okay, and um, who's the other? Who played Dracula? Help me out. Bela Lugosi. No, no, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> he did play universal. Dracula. <laughs> yeah, he was also. Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain. Oh, I, it's on the tip here. of my tongue as well. Yeah, he was in Lord of the Rings. Uh, Lord Solomon. Uh, oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. I don't remember his name. Um, oh, gosh. Anybody? Wikipedia. Wiki. Wiki. Wiki that's Wiki that's that. what DJ D Cups w is good Wiki for. Wiki that, Dave. <laughs> What's he, uh... he played Solomon and on Lord of the Rings. Right. That's, yeah. It's your thing, yeah. but yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Peter Cushing and. Come on. Kurt Russell. <laughs> oh, he was Count Dooku as well. Yes, that's true. Um, Count Dooku. Christopher Lee. That's Christopher his, that's, Lee. That's no, sir, Christopher How Lee. could I forget? Well, you know, keep piling <laughs> things in your head. And I know, right? It's out. too much. It's too much, man. Christopher Lee, man, is huge. Luke, I would say he's what my favorite Dracula. Yeah. For me, yeah. Yeah. I was right, though. Bela Lugosi was a dragon. <laughs> I mean, he was. Wasn't he? Hey, that was years ago, though. Years. You don't get no points for that. I don't get a point. No, you don't get no points was for that. Was it too obvious? Is you that said Christopher is? Lee. Yeah, I'd give you a point for that. I'd give you two damn points for that. Right? <laughs> Christopher Bella Lee. Bela Lugosi, that's an easy one. Okay, great. 
I grew up with Abbott and Costello. That's how I knew that. Oh, I yeah. love Abbott and Costello. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. My favorite is uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Yep. I love uh, all the monster movies yeah. were, were yeah. the best. Yeah. The, yeah. One, one the universal that. stuff is my favorite. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. Yeah. And then I was, oh, now when I was on EGT, they took me around Universal Studios. So they said, this is what we're going to do for your B-roll. We're going to take you or put you in one of those little carts, little golf carts. <laughs> we're going to drive around Universal Studios, and then you just do a, go do funny voices and do a running commentary on everything that you see, and we'll film it. Are you kidding me? I think I've seen some. <laughs> I was going to say, that, that's vaguely familiar. I've never seen familiar. stuff that, like that. Well, some of that did end up on the show, but there's a lot of it that didn't oh, end up man. on the show. I wish you could see that. I, I mean, would love to yeah. see that. It was crazy. I bet it was funny. <laughs> so this one thing that stood out in my head was uh, there was a, uh, uh, what was it, a recreation of the plane crash from War of the Worlds with, yeah, Tom, yeah, yeah. with Tom Cruise. Right. And, and, and I did a thing. They're panning by, and they go like, uh, <laughs> I started doing flight Flight attendant instructions. Uh, the exits are here, 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 and wherever the hell you want to go. <laughs> and you can put your bag here, 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 and wherever the hell you want to put it. <laughs> I wish I'd have put, they'd have put that in there because it was really funny. That's but I can like... see how people would be extremely offended by that because people are so offended yeah, by thinking. everything today. They're offended by everything. Well, you got to remember families watch the show. Well, that's inappropriate for my kids. And yeah. it's like, <laughs> meanwhile, they're, they're sneaking and watching porn and yeah, stuff. Yeah, drinking, the, <laughs> drinking their dad's whiskey and smoking in their rooms. And eating their edibles. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah this is great, Mom. <laughs> oh, good. my gosh. But just... And I got to see the clock tower from Back to the Future. You know, I was just going to bring up Back to the Future because oh. if memory serves, the way, I don't know if it's the, that way anymore, but the mm -hmm. Back to the Future car yes. was right next to Herbie, you know, Ocho, and then it, the Golden Girls house. And I could just imagine you doing a commentary through that. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, uh. Ocho, <laughs> how would you do the girls? I don't know. <laughs> Great Scott! <laughs> it's the Golden Girls! <laughs> Marty, it's the Golden Girls! <laughs> Doc, I think Blanche just mooned us. <laughs> she, was, she was the hottie one, right? The one that was always uh, slutty? Blanche? Yeah. That was her. Blanche was the, the yeah. hoe bag. The hoe bag. There's only one that's still alive now, and, and that's Betty White. Yeah. God bless her. I know. What, a great, what her. a great show. It was. It that really is was. when comedy writing for sitcoms was at its prime. I think yes. so. I just don't feel it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can't watch it. I can't watch it's, a sitcom today. I can't. I think the writers are busy trying to be as edgy as they can when you don't need to I be agree. like that. Yeah. I, go, I agree. And if you try to be irreverent, like if you try too hard, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it comes, every joke falls flat. It does. Uh, yeah. Why is so. that? Why do you think that is? I, I think because once it's, you're, you're hitting, it's like, it's like eating a sour, something sour. After the first two, Mm -hmm. You just go numb to it. Yeah. And I think that's why that happens, because it's such a sharp thing that it's just, you're mm -hmm. like, yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. Let's. There are a couple of shows that seem to work well. I think what Modern Family seems to work fairly well. Uh, it's not for me, right. but it, it's very yeah. successful. Um, but I mean, that, I think that's why Happy Days worked so well back in the day. Because why is that? Well, I mean, because everybody was very candy, uh, apple pie, American, and then you had Fonzie, and he was kind of the rebel, and that's why his jokes hit as hard as they did because he yeah. was that yes. one note that yes. was sharp you know yes and i think that that t has a lot to do and with you it. notice back in the day those shows there was always a character that was like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um robin mork from mork and mindy yeah, yeah. or uh jj from good times yep. you know always the standout character that kind of pulled it at, Pulled it out. They, had, they got all the great joke lines. Hawkeye I'm, from Mesh. Hawkeye, Hawkeye from Mesh. That's yeah. a really good example. Very good example. <laughs> let's, let's go real apple pie. Brady Bunch. It was always Alice in the kitchen with the Very throwing true. the slingers. Yeah, yeah. 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 that is true. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, great show. Oh. Yeah, because everybody else was they were straight people. Yeah, they're very very apple pie. But in the new shows, everybody's the comedian. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, and maybe that's what it is yeah. too. You know, some of that. Now, what I like are the shows like uh, Larry David. The, the Larry David like show. Like Kirby Enthusiasm. Kirby Enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my god! What gosh. great writing. 
Right? Yeah. And uh, do you know who recently just turned me on to that show? Because I, I had already, always heard about it, but I never really took time to spend But Rich Reagans. Oh, yeah? And uh, he says hi, by the yeah. way. Oh, great. I love Rich. He's and, a great guy. And uh, Richie wanted me to uh, bring up. Uh, Very he, funny. He said uh, something about, ask him about a time that a promoter locked us in a basement in Ohio. Well. He said there's a story to that. Basement in Ohio. Yeah. He said it's a really funny story. Oh, we were locked inside a condo, I think. Yeah, it was something like that. That's I mean, what it was. Yeah. yeah. Well, this place used to be an old, it was an old building. And uh, yeah, I think it was used as an office at one time. Well, they turned it into a comedy club and they shoved us in the bottom. <laughs> and the doors were locked and we couldn't get out. <laughs> we were trying to get out of there. And, uh, and we were th- thinking, oh, my God, what if there was a fire? Right. We could have died. <laughs> well, sure enough, years later, the, the whole club burned down. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. Good Lord. Oh, thank God oh, you guys weren't in there. Uh, quite scary, yeah. yeah. But yeah those were the wild road days, man. I bet. He sends his love. Yeah. yeah and we, you know what we would do? Like, uh, during the day, we'd play... Uh, Medal of Honor. We had, I had a PlayStation. I'd bring my PlayStation, and we'd play Medal of Honor. It, oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> what times, huh? Oh, my gosh. I love those games. Are you a gamer at all or no? You know, it, um, I was for a long time. I was a World of Warcraft player for a long time. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And, and uh, you know, it was funny. We were, we were just doing some research on yeah. you, and, and it said yeah. one, of the, one of the things about you is you were a gamer. And we were like, he's really? a gamer? Yeah. So yeah. That, that was interesting to read this. Yeah. So what, what, How about you, Brandy? You? Well, I, I, no, not anymore. I have an original PlayStation at home Ooh. that we still go hard on all the time. Like it is at home. Well, let me hear what games do you play. What, we, okay, this one. This is for a very niche crowd, but we have Bubble Buster Brothers. I used to have that. You're a liar. I am not. Do you know how hard that game was yeah. for me to find? Yeah, well, I bought it when it first came out. When I, I had it in my oh collection, my God. yeah. Which, when, uh, when I was little, my mom worked at um, like a movie rental place, and we got demo games. I don't yeah. know if you've ever played a demo game, but yep. I had like Clock Tower, the, the bubble, bu- bubble, you know, I already said it. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of other things, but of course I got This is them. coming from someone named Jiggly. Yeah. But I got them a year or two after they were popular, because I, I was never into it. But now as an adult, like we, of course we don't have the demos yeah. anymore, but we buy the full games, and we, as a family, sit down and play PlayStation 1 wow. on the regular. Yeah, yeah, like the, great the Gran Turismo's were on there. Those were right, beautiful games. Yeah, we were, we had to get a tube TV so the graphics would make more sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the graphics look like ass. And I live on a new for television. It. They look I, terrible. Yeah, yeah. You and that's why I ended up. I finally let go of my old PlayStation. I didn't. I go like this. Looks like ass. I'm never gonna play it again. <laughs> And I, and, I, and, and I move so much. I move like once every two years. So I can't go around and look for another yeah. tube television like you said. Yeah. I need a home for all this stuff. You can't stuff. carry a 700-pound, 12-inch no. tube TV. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> every time you move. You right? Unless it has a secondary purpose, like it's there to hold up your other TV. I mean. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, though. I loved it. I yeah. loved my PlayStation. I, and Sega Genesis was a big one. I can't find oh, yeah. a used one with, with games anymore, but uh, I'd yeah, love no. to find some Sonic. Yes. Well, the, the big game I played on Sega Genesis was Masters of Monsters. I don't know if you remember that game. No. no. my God. It was just, it was. No, what was it like? What was it? It a, was a, like up to four people. Hack and Slash? No, it was. Oh, uh, more like a uh, gauntlet. No, it was it was a map strategic game, and you like Ooh. you made your char- like your, your monster, whatever you a had. Tactic, you, tactical you, you game. Tactics. I remember that. Yeah, tactics I remember game. That. Uh-huh. Okay. I remember and that. And you'd level them you up. Do? And, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was such. A, What's like, it called again? Masters of Monsters. And oh uh, my like gosh. We, we had it at Fort Campbell, and we would like take the Genesis with us on our post guard duty, wow. and like, hey, well, I'll be back in eight hours. You saved my turn. You know? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you know? I wonder if you can still get that. I have it. You do. Uh huh. Oh yeah, my gosh! Oh, you're making me Jones. Yeah, I like. I'm terrible at those types of games, but I love them. Anyway. They're just. I mean, in the gra- I love them. The graphics aren't the best in the world, but it was just. Don't so matter. It's addic- all up here, yeah, but it was so fun. It's all in your imagination. Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. then, the graphics were. I mean, it was everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially on the PlayStation One when that came out, and they, oh my goodness, um, when it went from eight bit to Saturn? sixteen. Remember yeah. that? Oh yeah. my god! I was like, honey, this is the future. It's all happening. When I got <laughs> one, <laughs> this is the future. <laughs> Living my best I was life. Like, Let me get this disc out. <laughs> Put it in, yeah. That is hilarious, That's isn't exactly it? That's exactly what I thought. Oh I thought I was gosh. somebody and my friends came over and I said, let me get the disc for my game. Get your cartridges out of here. <laughs> it's 
all happening. Yeah. So cool. What what uh what what's the games you like to play? Like, do you ever get into the MMO RPGs or do you? Uh... RPGs are my main thing now. Yeah. I really like them because uh, I'm all about story. Yeah. And uh, I'm really into the Fallout games. I like Fallout Three. I like New Vegas. I like Fallout Four. I didn't buy seventy six. I don't play well with others. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, are you are you big into the, the online gaming with the no with the kids? No, 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 no. They're terrible. I, I evil they're, little bastards. Let, there, I'll come there. over. I'll come over there and I'll change your diapers. <laughs> exactly. I swear to. I hate them. They're yeah. so snotty and yeah. they're terrible. It's and awful. they're awesome at it too and all you want to do is just oh, yeah. go home and relax and have a good time and they're out yeah, there one shotting you and you're like yeah, you yeah. son of a yeah. bitch yeah, yeah i'll hit you with my car because <laughs> i die i die a lot yeah i really do but yeah. i like a game that i can chill with like and right now there's uh my favorite chill game is city skylines mm. which is like sim city my I mean, husband sim plays yeah, that okay. for hours oh well because you can yeah i mean it's it's crazy you I'll make have to your check own. that out you got to check it out. I, I play Raid Shadow <clears throat> Legends. What is it? It's called Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's like the big one I play. Like, I, I can't get enough of the damn thing. What's really? that? You just you build uh, heroes up, champions up, and they fight other champions, and you go on missions. And it's just... But, and it's an RPG? It, it, it kind of... It's, it's more like you're building up an army and... Oh, you know, so it's, it's still small, tactical It's then. small squad that you... Yeah, and the yeah. graphics are really good. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know. Now, I, if, here's a really good recommendation. Subnautica. Have you ever played that? No. no. Oh my gosh. This game I'm really into. So uh, you, you, you land on this alien planet. Actually, you crash land. Mm -hmm. And you're in the middle of the ocean. But you have a pod. And, and you, 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 can only, you only have so much air. And you can uh, create a, an oxygen tank so that you can stay underwater longer and I'm you go underwater out. and you swim yeah oh it's stressful i'm already stressed especially out especially with the headphones on <laughs> i'm stressed you out hear yourself so you starting. swim around and you try and find natural resources and you take them back up to your pod and you make things huh. so that you can build a whole underwater station nice and grow your own that, that food sounds, yeah. and everything it's like a survival game now would you play this as a Forgive my lingo. Yeah. As a one person, one player yeah. by yeah. yourself. It's a single player game. That, that's, yeah. I really respond yeah. to that. And that's why you're gonna love it. I will have to check that out. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely yeah. Have to check Subnautica, that out. very good. I always look. I'm always looking for something that I can because I got my iPad at the house yeah. and I love finding something I can just sit there and go numb with while I'm I'm working on one of these mm -hmm. you know videos or something. And I just I love that you know. Wow, yeah, wow, that's, that's good. good. It's it's good therapy. I the, think you know when you're editing the podcast. Is that a lot of work? You know, uh, it can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, especially if like there's you know some type of problem with the the like we we filmed one. Uh, were uh, date like it was in a bunch of different pieces the video was, and when, when I copied the pieces over a lot of them were named the same thing so I literally had to go through and like like a puzzle and find which just a few se a few and, second clips it's it's splice it up into yeah GoPros are the worst for that yeah and, and uh, it, like mixes up the names of them right oh so I got gotcha. you okay sequence and then there was like like a couple of the pieces had some time missing out of it, so it, they weren't matching to anything. So then I'm like pulling because I wasn't here for the show, so I'm pulling my hair out trying oh to. Oh my gosh! And well, that's the many, real reason why I'm bald. Well, how many? <laughs> <laughs> well, how many hours a day would you um, would you spend editing? Um, every week I probably spend about five six hours. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's well, a I, time. I, I, yeah. I mean, I want I want them done. Right, well, I want them to look. Yeah, yeah. The quality's got to be there, I think. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, we had some sound issues for a couple of the shows, and. Uh, that's that's something that you can't have, especially if people are listening. You know? yeah. yeah. If they're watching, they can kind of get a gist what we're doing. They can turn up a little. But if they're listening, you know, sounds. I like what you have. Like you've got Dave here. You know, you got the tech. Dave guy. is awesome. Dave yeah. is the man, and yeah. he, you know he. Uh, <laughs> And he, he's, he's a blessing because, I mean, he, the guy just came to us and said, hey, I'd love to work with you guys. And we're like, oh, hell yeah. That is so yeah. great, Dave. Yeah. He's fantastic. So nice. Yeah. It's fun. We love our yeah. DJ D-Cups. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it funny that, um, you know, yeah, we have, as, as a kid, I don't know about you or if you were probably like this, you guys, did you have this where you, oh, it would be fun to be a DJ on a radio station. Absolutely. Or, yeah. And now here you are. You just... Yeah. We don't need no stinking station. Yeah. Yeah, we make our own. We, we found a cheat code. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. You know, it's, you, know you, you meet really nice people, good people. Like the owner of this club, Jordan Holly, lets us do yeah. this, and he's yeah. fantastic to yeah. 
uh, you know, and you meet good people to, to work with. It's just, it's a blessing on top of blessing. And, and of course, your listeners and viewers. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And then you add on the fact that we get to interview people like you, which is just fantastic. Wow. I mean, yeah. thank you. amazing. That's, I mean, that's why we're here. Yeah. That's why totally. we're here. It's not for you. It's for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we can spend time with Greg, not you. <laughs> so saith Jiggles. Uh, <laughs> um, you got anything you want to plug coming up here? Yes. Um, here, we, uh, let's see. Go to my website, gregmorton.com. And uh, there's a subscribe button on there. Just hit that, and you'll get Fast Blast. You'll find out where I'm going to be. And I'm going to be starting something soon. I want to start my own podcast. Yes, Heck you yeah. should. And I want to, but I'm, I'm not going to have any guests. I'm going to do the whole thing myself. You should. I'm going to do all the voices, all the characters. Be I'm going to interview guest. myself. Yes. <laughs> I think that's it's going to be the it. wildest craziest wildest show i'm already subscribed yeah yeah <laughs> totally <laughs> i'm not going to say much about it but if you're a real geek like uh you know all of us oh here, yeah i think you'll really enjoy it i am in the planning stages i'm very close to putting out an episode i want to get like about five that's smart in the bag yep. five to ten before i yeah officially yep. launch it and then i'm gonna you know go hog wild on it but I would. Uh, and then of course my instagram is greg morton comic and so is my twitter and uh, there's Facebook, of course, but I don't care. And make sure you, when you look at, when you look up Greg Morton, comedian, what's funny is, I don't know why they did this, but it says Greg Morton as <laughs> your picture, and there's and it says an American football player. <laughs> because there was a Greg Allen Morton but wait, that wait. was a, a football player. Yeah. From Akron, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, it's funny because his, his picture's there with this guy's Wikipedia. Brilliant. And you've got to go down further. No, but I mean, I, I want to go ball out Wikipedia and say, that's not my guy. Stop that. <laughs> well, it would help if they had a, a new uh, picture of him, maybe a more modern picture, or even an old picture. Just put that in there. Right. You know what? Maybe that's what I should do. <laughs> I should go and put that dang picture in there we'll just, of him. We'll I could just find it. it. Yeah. I'm sure I could. Oh, yeah. Yeah, until yeah, so it stops happening to me. But what I should do is write my own Wikipedia page. That would be the, well, I mean, the, the thing the, to do. The one that I found out, I mean, it's, it's, I think whoever wrote it did an, an okay job. I mean, you always can improve on anything, but I mean, yeah. What, what Wikipedia? I don't the, have a Wikipedia I, page. I could have sworn I Oh, do you know what I read? I read uh, your Wiki fandom. That's what I read for the AGT. There's a Wiki fandom? A, yeah. Here. What? Yeah, yeah, Wiki fandom. Oh my gosh. For AGT. I need to Google myself. <laughs> well, I do, but it's all alone at home. It's private time. See, yeah. Thank Greg you. Morton, former football player. Hang on, let me find the, the Wiki. Now, does it does it say on there who who's uh? See, we, America Got Talent Wiki created it. Um, for the fandom thingy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, hello. There it goes. They probably did. Yeah, they might have. That's true. Oh, great pictures on here yeah. from the, from the yeah. show. Season 14. He was eliminated in the semi. Why do they say that? That sounds negative. <laughs> it does sound He negative. was eliminated in the semifinals. He made it all the way to the semifinals. Yeah. Okay. He's in heaven now. <laughs> uh, they, they call our special guest this evening, Mr. Standing O. He's known as the ultimate stand of blah, blah, blah. Well, they took that. Yeah, yeah. That's a bio that, that was, was actually my nickname in high school. By a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Standing yeah. O? Yeah. Wow, he had open. Oh, it's got everything on here. I think oh. I got it. Audition. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> What's that? I said Standing O was uh, actually my, my nickname in high school. <laughs> what am I missing? Oh, it's a double edged sword. That's right. <laughs> Wow, is that ever Comment cool? Comment below. Fill me in. <laughs> Tell Brandy what that's about. Well, that is so cool. Hey, wasn't that neat? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that was on there. That's so, yeah, it's amazing what people, you know, especially, you know, you, you hit the big screen like you did and everybody knows your household name now. So, Absolutely. yeah, people write stuff about you. It was quite you. amazing. I got recognized at the mall today. A that is times. awesome. Yeah. I love hearing yeah. that. Yeah. No, I love hearing that. And you said uh, working with AGT on there, you said it was addictive. Like they just the way you treat you're well, treating the food and it is because it you know you're like you're in a bubble right and you get all this t attention and you feel like you're a star yeah well you are <laughs> you are a star you, you could go full on diva really easy <laughs> <And> you, <should. laughs> you really could I mean you yeah. just you're kind of like yeah yeah bitch give me a sandwich what the hell what the hell I need a sandwich right now yeah. in a little package over here. <laughs> 
And that's why you said that before the show. <laughs> now, let me tell you about the time I did try to go out and get a sandwich. I was feeling a little hungry. I said, I'm going to go out and get a sandwich. Where do, where's the best place to go out on a sandwich? And then she says, well, you walk out of here. And when you hit Hollywood Boulevard, you make a right, and then you go down a little ways, and you'll see all kinds of stuff that you can eat. Well, I didn't even make it to Hollywood Boulevard. I walked out, oh my, it's from AGT, oh my God, oh, wow. can I get a selfie? I was out there for 20 minutes. Oh. Wow. I turned around and I walked right, right back, back in. <laughs> what a good thing. They said, did you get a sandwich? I go, no, I didn't get no damn sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so they it. sent out. They sent. They were really nice, and they sent out uh, for food for me, and it was really, really nice. They were so great. That is so awesome. They're on the show, and I miss that. I miss my friends on the show that I made, uh, like Ryan Neemiller, who right. was so nice to Love me. Them. All of the people. Uh, what the heck is that? <laughs> this is, I'm doing my laundry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's right. one of the pipes upstairs. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> Dave, Dave's scratching. He's over there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it, it was great. No, I, it was great. I, I've forgotten what I was going to say. No, it's, I was distracted. You were talking about how they, they sent out for a sandwich for you, and they just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, like I said, they were great to me, and everybody was good on the show, and yeah. Terry Crews, I mean, incredible. He's got to be, like, the <gasps> nicest man, isn't he? he? Is. And he's yeah. very yeah. handsome. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you know, uh, he, he grew up... Uh, he, was, he was bullied. You know, growing up. To know what? Them. Yeah. I've heard and, that, yeah. And, uh, you know what? I think everybody on the show was bullied. But I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> he, yeah. He got that they big because be. he, he needed to learn how to defend himself. That's funny. Yeah. And he's he's a big proponent against, you know, domestic violence times. I, Isn't I've that, that yeah. interesting? Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. Well, you know what? I got to tell you something. And this is not, this is true, actually. I noticed that everybody on the show had a bullying story. And <laughs> when I heard the one uh, story about, uh. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Figueroa, a kid that played the violin, mm. sweetest kid. Mm -hmm. His little brother, they get to lo they get along so well. Oh. Like they're two little brothers, and he takes care of his little brother, and they play together, and they're like the best of friends. And oh. his mom is so sweet and nice, and they bullied him because he had cancer. He had <gasps> to go in for chemo treatment. And uh, he lost all his hair, and uh, it, was, it was terrible, right? And they bullied him. They made fun of him because he had cancer. Well, I heard that, and I went like, okay, let me just put my little bullying story away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god! But everybody had a bullying story. Sure. And it was amazing, and it taught me something that, you know, I think that a lot of us who are creatives, you know, we stand out. We're very different. Yeah. And I don't know why, but we seem to intimidate these other people. Sure. They feel threatened by Absolutely. us. Absolutely. When actually that should be further from further from the case, right? Yeah. We, we're just, we're creatives. I mean, we think differently. We may act differently, but... Uh, and that's why we got our asses beat. <laughs> because <laughs> you're different. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> but the thing is, I think that if you're bullied, if you're really young, uh, you just have to remember that tomorrow's another day. Yeah. If you can just get through the first part of your life, the rest yeah. is going to be magnificent. It's Absolutely. true. Why, once you get out of school. Yeah. Once you get out of school. <laughs> I mean, really. Which is a horrible place for creatives, right? <laughs> uh, it's terrible because yeah. it has too many rules. It's, very, yes. it's too restrictive. Mm -hmm. It's too. It's, I think it's too general. It's, it's too general. It's too general. I think so. They, like if you have a kid that's really good in yes. mathematics. Yes. You're gonna still cram English and literature and all this other social studies and home ec and all this stuff down his throat that maybe we should gear it towards. You know, yeah. if he's really into math, well, let's cram more math down his throat then. I've always thought, We like, need good mathematicians. And then same with yeah. the, the real creative kids. I mean, it, yeah, they need a basic understanding of math, sure. But is it, like, a kid is going to end up being an artist or a comedian. Does he need to know algebra? Does he really need to know Do it? we? Yes. You think yes. so? Yes. I okay. think that it, to be a well-rounded individual, yeah. you need everything. Yeah. And, but you don't have to specialize in everything. Yeah. That's the key. So, now, the problem with uh, creatives is that 
we learn at a different rate. <laughs> True. Yeah. You know, some of us are a little slower. It doesn't mean we're stupid. Right. It's just that some of us are, are more visually inclined mm -hmm. or audibly inclined, you know. Um, some things I, I just can't blah, 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 blah. But if you show me a picture, I get it. Yeah. You know, mm. so uh, we just learn differently and at different speeds. And uh, we're always held back by these other people. They're like, well, I have a curriculum and I've got a, a time limit and a time frame, a timeline, and I have to teach all of these kids all of these things yeah. and have it done in time for the exam. And then they have to do the multiple choice questions. and. No, with a creative, it's like, hey, what's that over there? Right. You know? yeah. What's right. that shiny object? You know? <laughs> I, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I have four kids, but I pulled one of them out of public school, and he's homeschooled. Good for you. And I have seen a dramatic improvement, not only in his mood. Mm -hmm. You know, the novelty of being at home wore off fairly quick, but you know, being able to, well, oh, you want to learn about this? You know, this will be our science, and we'll do this, and yeah. you respond better to this in math, and it's it's really improved. And he's further ahead now. He's of only. Course. I don't know how and that, and you know what, <laughs> you know what's, And you know what's great about it, Brandy? You, that's a Trojan horse. You can go like, oh, oh, you're interested in, in science fiction and space? Absolutely. Well, you know, in math, this is what they do at NASA. Absolutely. We do that with Legos, you know, the, the shapes and stuff. We're turning right. it into age-appropriate geometry and you know, right? architecture type stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's been great. Wow, that's so smart. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. None of the other kids are, you know. They're not doing well, but who, who, I only have time for one. I only have time for one. Listen, if one of the three comes out good, that's good odds, that's really. That's all I can ask for. I, I just like the, the total fuck them that just came out of your mouth. That was awesome. That was good. I like that. I, I cannot be, but I do have a favorite. I do have a favorite. That a girl. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. I do, but they know. Yeah. They'll ask them, like, Mom, Delaney said she's your favorite. And I'm like, well, she is. You're a hat. Listen, that means <laughs> just, hey, work harder. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My affections can be bought. If you bring mother gifts, then she may change her mind. I take macaroni necklaces, uh, pictures, and sodas out of the fridge. Okay. That's all I ask for. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, that's not a lot. That's it's not. <laughs> so we're going to wrap no, up. Wait, wait. I want to ask Brandon uh, no, something. No, please, please. Yeah. Well, no, what were you? Were you bullied as a, as a kid, too, or no? I don't want to be the outcast, but no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I'm what you beautiful. Know? I've always been. Get out of here. I've get always, off. Blew get the off. bell curve. I've was always right. been a skinny legend. No, but I, I was a little bit of a bully. Hey, hey, and I'm not hey, bragging. Pusher, pusher, was. push her. Do something. <laughs> Bully her right now. I sure wasn't. I Thank you. your time. I sure wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I honestly, I feel a little left out because now everyone's anti-bullying and people are getting online bullied. Yeah. And I'm like, what about your girl over here? Brandy's like, I'm over just, here pro-bully. You know. Just... <laughs> 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 yeah. Hashtag pro-bully. Were, were, you, were you bullied at school, I was. Josh? Not in school. My brother bullied yeah. the crap out of me. Okay, I'm an only yeah. child. Yeah. But, then, then the, but there's, a, there's the other thing, too. Uh, we're making everybody so soft. Yeah. Like they can't yes. handle anything. It's right. very and then true. when they get to adulthood, no, oh, I'm going to do you. It's very like, true. It's just really sad. I don't agree with you, for, therefore, I'm insulted. Yes, what? yes. And then they want to destroy the other person's life. Right. Yes. And yes. that's where we're at today. And, and it's that horrible. is ridiculous. It's Completely. Insane. Nobody deserves that. Can it be a teachable moment? Right. And if, 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 you're, if you don't like something or. You just you speak up for yourself. You, yeah. know, you know what? I really don't appreciate you using that word in front of me or calling me that sure. or that type of whatever it is. Yeah. And then and then you start over again and you try to have a relationship. But no, like you, I must destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And you, you got you got people that that you know. I, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but it's mm. happened to me where I say things that comes out wrong. That I I don't yes. mean it the way it's, it, yeah. like yes. I said it. And they'll crucify you for it. They will. They'll, yeah. They're ready to kill you, your family. The cancel uh, culture now that the kids. He's canceled. Yes. She's canceled. That's right. Canceled, that's what it is. Canceled. Yeah. That's what it is. You're canceled. It's wrong. It's completely wrong. People make mistakes. We're canceling cancel culture. <laughs> it's funny. Is what is funny about it? It's such an immature. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> they it don't really even is. realize it, but. Uh, and it's because they they. We grew up with sticks and stones. Yeah. We grew up with that. You know, they, the names will yeah. never hurt you. Yeah. you know, nowadays, it's like. <gasps> You you said you said my kid was stupid. Oh well, now I need counseling. Mm. I mean, Some of mine are. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? They can't. All, you have so many. They can't all be winners. But not the favorite. <laughs> she's not. She's not bright. Oh, okay. <laughs> she is not. She's not. She knows. <laughs>
<laughs> you got to embrace the perfection, imperfections. She knows. It's like you said. It's a teachable moment. <laughs> she can learn to be but, better. But every single day. <laughs> it's a nightmare at my <laughs> house. Teachable moment. Imagine what I'm going through. But she's going to catch on slow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like I just roasted your child, and I apologize about that. No. I, she gets roasted all the time. She knows. Oh, that's funny. All right, I think we're going to end <laughs> this segment. <laughs> What's awesome about this uh, particular show is that we're not going to say goodbye to Greg yet. We're actually just going to stop right here, and we're going to continue up next week with another episode with Greg. So that's fantastic. So we're going to sign off on this one. Any final uh, thoughts about uh, oh, man, this show? This is a perfect show right here. Well, I, I agree. I agree. And it's all because of you, my friend. Yes. And uh, so for Brain Nicole and Greg Morton, I'm Josh Arm. We'll see you guys next time. Don't bully. Hey guys, I uh, hope you liked the video and if, if you like the, the show, make sure you throw a like down there somewhere. There should be a like and uh, there's a subscribe button over here. And hit the bell. And hit the bell, yeah, ring the bell. And uh, you know, check us out, man. Stay in touch with us. We're always putting out videos every week and uh, it should be a lot of fun, right? Write us a letter. Write his brain. Write us the mail. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, good work. Show your jiggling? No. Okay. <laughs> It'll make it easier for me. <laughs> you can call me jiggling. All right.